you let me straight to the fall i'm broken i'm so trying skin and today we are talking about what's going on between jack's films and sniper wolf or ss sniper wolf listen i'm not a fan of either of these two not because i hate them just because i just don't watch them and i've been keeping up with this feud for a little bit now but kind of didn't know to make a video about it until it got like serious so let's get a little history before we get here and what's going on now i didn't make a video also about this doxing situation just because i wanted i don't like making a commentary video and not kind of giving a follow-up if more happens is why i stopped doing commentary videos regularly basically what's happened is jack's films started a feud with us as sniper wolf sniper wolf basically makes lazy react content nowadays from what I understand and he's just like man that sucks and I think they feuded a little bit to the point that now Jack's made a whole channel that is basically reacting to whole videos which it's a little bit childish if I'm being honest like every video is just reacting to her own videos and pointing out how they're lazy or or how she saw the clip ahead of time so she knows what's gonna happen before she magically predicts exactly what's gonna happen so the feud starts off as a like basic youtube shit turn into like a little goofy shit and then turn into what's happening now where sniper wolf posted on her instagram story that she was taking a shoot basically near his house i don't know how convenient that is that she was basically five minutes away from his house but basically then goes to his house live on her story and starts posting about it all while this was happening at night and he was on stream i think and was just basically like yeah i'm not going outdoors to go confront her because her whole thing was basically gonna be like i'll go over there and i'll confront him about this and we'll talk it out which like that's not what she was going there to do we all know that she was basically going there to start shit and obviously while doing that it's showing where he lives it's showing his house i know there's been worse doxing situations out there where people pretty much in videos on their channel like showed people's addresses like straight up not just like the outside of their houses but that's still not okay to do that still is obviously doxing someone and obviously he wasn't happy about this most youtubers weren't happy about it and for a few days to about a week no one said anything people kept asking if youtube was gonna do anything about it and today finally youtube did something about it they made a little post in response to jack pretty much just calling her creepy and gross and uh this was disgusting and wants you to demonetize or just take her off the platform and they basically said hey we're gonna temporarily suspend her making money these are not our policies and people basically didn't like that they didn't like the whole Hoping everyone can move this conversation to a better place. It sounds like they just want to move on from this. Some people said it sounds like they're pushing some blame on Jack. Which, yeah, he did make videos about her. But I don't think he ever expected that she would show up to his own house. And start, like, filming. And now she has finally apologized conveniently. After making tweets kind of joking about the situation. That now YouTube has responded, she's finally responded. And no, she didn't make a video. No, she didn't do it on her Instagram. Where this whole thing started, basically, with the doxing at least. She responds on Twitter. Pretty much, she said this. Let me start by saying, I'm so sorry for my recent actions. It's inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jax Films, YouTube, the entire creator community. She was told to make this apology. That was she's trying not to just say sorry to Jack. And wants to say sorry to other people so she doesn't have to just point only to him. Even though it's... The apology should just be to him only, not to YouTube. Say sorry to Jack and his family that was in the house. Why is... Why, like, why are you apologizing to YouTube here? She basically then goes on to say, I'm sorry to my incredible fans for not being a better example for appropriate conflict resolution. Basically it's being like, hey, I'm sorry... You know, not for the doxing situation, but the conflict resolution. Making sure to point out that, you know, there was a conflict to begin with, with Jack instead of just being like, Oh, my actions were here, were bad. You know, gotta point out that his, he did shit. Jack's films, why we certainly do not see eye to eye and have our differences. I am sorry for acting the way I did when I should have taken the opportunity to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by talking to you directly. 
and respectfully and privately, and not for views or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be solved. And this feels very written out, this feels very basic, this doesn't feel natural, this doesn't- I don't know her well, but this does not sound like her. It does not sound like how most people talk. This sounds very pre-written out. I will reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect, communicate respectfully. I'd also like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. I deserve it. Respect the decision and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true last judgment. And it sounds so made up, so pre-written, she's not sorry for any of this. And I know, there's worse doxing situations. There's also worse things to do to get doxed and have your house shown. See, literally, <laughs> this whole thing feels so fucking ridiculous on her end. And yeah, Jack was a bit, you know, he didn't need to make a whole channel about it. But she turned a YouTube drama into just acting childish. And doxing is illegal, I believe, in both states these people live. So there is a possibility of her getting arrested over this. And of course, yeah, she's gonna get monetization back soon. It's probably just very, very temporary. YouTube clearly likes her as a content creator. I don't know if she actually needs to be demonetized forever, but I do think there's some sort of punishment that feels better than what YouTube did. I don't know exactly what to do, but I feel like there's something that could be done here. I don't know. Well, let me know what you think of this in the comments below, and let me know what you think they should have done in the comments below. I've been bored of May, and have a good night. I'm done with hitting your wall Short notice, I just gotta let you know You led me straight to the fall I'm broken, I'm still trying skin and bones You left